So I want to ask you just to think of right now, and you may want to jot this down in your guide, think about a time in your personal life or in your professional life that you just were cut off from that sense of hope. It was just, you were starved for hope, and we've all been there. Everybody's had that sense of, it's just gone. Someone, something, or maybe just me, has turned off that feeling of inspiration, of creativity, of hopefulness. And then, and these may be related, this may be two sides of the same coin, when your sense of hope was restored, when you felt like you were being fed hope as opposed to starved. And then I want you to make it really personal and think about a time when you fed hope. Because people that have that sense of hopefulness, and particularly leaders, you don't keep it to yourself. You share it, you spread it around. So how do you feed hope? How do you inject enthusiasm, inspiration, ignite that sense of excitement in the people around you? And it could be your, your team. If you're a solopreneur, it might be your outsourced vendors, your, your resources that you use. It may be a you know, mega company, it doesn't matter. It's just how do you feed that sense of hopefulness? And I mentioned the first responders that I had, I had spoken with. And one fellow came up to me after the presentation. And he had not the little tiny hearing aids, but some serious hardware on. And he said, uh, you know, I wanted to be a firefighter, but I'm, I'm nearly deaf. I couldn't be a professional firefighter. But I am on my volunteer firefighting squad in my hometown. And he said, so what I do, when there's a big fire and they've called everybody in, I, I go out to the ready station where the firefighters are preparing to go out. And he said, and I take my omelet station. And I don't take just eggs and cheese. I take eggs and cheese and peppers and onions and mushrooms and bacon. And I make every single firefighter a custom omelet, whatever they want, before they go out and lay their life on the line for us. And I, that, I found that so touching because I said, wow, you're not just metaphorically feeding hope. You are literally feeding hope to people that need it. They've got a tough job to do that most of us don't. And he said, that's right. I really feel like that's my job. I'm there to feed hope. So as leaders, we've got to keep that sense alive. Despite fear, challenges, change,